So for me, climate justice is making sure that the people who have contributed to this crisis are actually putting frontline communities at the center of every decision that is being made today.
climate justice is when the children, the women, have food and water. It's when the women in my community don't have to walk for long distances to look for water and to feed their families. And it's when communities don't have to struggle with where to live or they don't have to face the great impacts of having their homes and their livestock and their families being uh, washed away when they actually almost least know nothing about the crisis and they have least contributed. Every delay in action causes more damages to these communities. So climate justice is when we actually do what we say and don't just say it for the sake of a certain sanity, but we say it because that's what we are going to do. For those that can't see me right now, I'm uh, a middle-aged man, a Hispanic man in a wheelchair. I'm using a machine to help me breathe. And I have dark hair and I'm gonna swear a scarf. I grew up uh, in a world that was not designed for me. And uh, with the fact that my body had increasingly developed weakness in my muscles, I kept finding barriers everywhere. The education system denied me an education in my home country, Venezuela, uh, but we moved to the US and there were rights and regulations that protected my right to an education. I think now that we think about AI, we have a chance to make customized learning opportunities for a wide range of learners. have a simple AI algorithm that does not really elevate the equity dimension, those data sets are normalized, meaning they're averaged out and they're erased because, in a sense, the dominance of the more present or mainstream uh, concepts could block out and their more marginalized voices. However, with the right approaches and regulations and the right set of values, you can actually create models that attempt to elevate those voices, even though that they're not as present, they're becoming more um, valued or weighted in these models. I think what I can contribute from the perspective of disability rights or the movement of people with disabilities is a very simple phrase, nothing about us without us, which is a concept developed to develop policies and plans not by able-bodied people towards people with disabilities, but actually promoting the participation of those groups. I remember seeing the deployment and thinking I've just witnessed my generation's moon landing. 
the world will not be the same if we cross the threshold. And so my values and the voices of 1.2 billion people in the world that live with a disability absolutely have to be part of this. Thank you.